Yep, it's a chair. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian, thanks for joining me. This video is gonna be about a really cool new product, I think it's pretty new, from the folks at Thermarest called the Trio Camp Chair. And yeah, this is a chair and it's, it's, um, it's a really neat product. The folks at Thermarest were kind enough to send me this so I could show it to you. And what I'm trying to do is put together a series of videos for the, uh, about some different gift ideas and, and across price ranges, different price ranges for every budget and just things that i think are really cool really great ideas that, that would make good gifts or or would just make cool products to buy for yourself if you want to um so anyway this is going to be in the i'll call this the mid to higher price range it's about 100 bucks and um man it's just really cool so without further ado uh let's get to doing some of that chair stuff okay so first of all you can see how small this thing is it's probably, gosh, it's like um, about a foot, maybe a foot long by about four inches wide. Um, when, it, when you get it set up, the seat is 13 inches high, which is pretty cool. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, it's not ultralight backpacking gear. It's about 2.3 pounds, okay? But compared to your standard, you know, the kind of fold out the fabric, uh, regular standard camp chair, that is admittedly way less than 100 bucks, but those things are about double this, about 4.5, 4 4.5 pounds, something like that, so is what I weighed, a small one. The large ones are even higher, even more. Um, and this thing supports 250 pounds. So without any more rambling, let's take a look at how this thing works. So first of all, it's got like a little hand, car, handy carrying handle right here, a little strap, loop, whatever. And then it's got a rubber retention big gigantic rubber retention ring that holds everything together so the first thing you want to do is pop that off then unfold it and then you can see the chair materials are inside now if you lock these legs out that's going to be your base just like that you'll notice that it has two of the legs have one hole each and the other leg has two holes and so you take that apart and you see you've got your your fabric your seat material and you've got four sets of poles because you've got four holes. These are really nice. Um, I think they're aluminum poles. They are shock corded together and they just snap together very, very nicely. Like so. Both ends are have a nice little plastic round plug on them. So there I think it doesn't matter which end you use on the on the longest. So two of them have three sections. Okay, we got these two here. And then two of them have not only have just two sections, they also have a little uh, smaller kind of ferrule on one end. And there's a reason for that because these holes in here are different sizes. And so you can't really screw up. The longer sections, the ones with three sections, they go in the legs with individual holes, like so. And you'll, you'll know that because they just plain won't fit in the other holes. They're just too big. And then, got to get it just right okay and then the ones with the ferrules on them they go they both go in the leg that has two holes okay so got it set up here now I'm gonna take your chair every corner has a little pocket in it and it's reinforced with some nice um, I don't know what kind of material that is but it's kind of plasticized nylon I don't know it's pretty pretty tough feeling stuff then it's got a, a ring hole for right here for your finger finger hole here actually and then this the seat itself is obviously you know sewn like a little bucket kind of so and then it's got the logo on top to tell you which one goes on top so what you want to do is go ahead and just put the poles in the little corner loops and then go to the other one and that's where the finger holes come in handy because you kind of stretch it out just a little bit Put it in there, okay? So you got the back on. This is not rocket science, okay? Put the other on your front. Reach around and get the other finger hole here. Just kind of stretch it out a little bit. And there you have it. That's it. Here's the moment of truth. Nothing's going to poke a hole in it. Got my mic here. I don't want to pull my microphone out. I've been doing that a lot lately. So, 
Let's see what we got here. <clears throat> hey, pretty good actually. Um, it's got a little bit of a rocking motion to it, but uh, it's actually uh, surprisingly comfortable. It's just about, again, 13 inches seat height, so kind of got a little bit of a recliner feeling. Um, I'm liking this. Okay, so there you saw it's really comfortable. Um, super nice stuff. So how about packing it up? Let's take a look at that. So if you want to just take and pull a corner off, not rocket science there for sure. And then what I did is just fold it up. Move that out of the way from me. Pull your, pull your poles out. And then I just took this thing and um, kind of folded it along the seams like so and then folded it in half again. I don't know if that's exactly right or not. I don't remember how it came apart. Just pull your poles apart, fold them up. And then just roll them up in the seat fabric itself. I'm trying, trying to roll them tight. I'm just trying to keep it clean too. Keep it off the ground as much as I can. And then uh, you take your leg assembly, kind of sit this right in the middle, and just fold it up on, on it. So after you get your fabric and your poles bundled up, put inside here, you got a little plastic cap that stays inside. It's connected actually to the back of the rubber strap. And, and it's got your carrying strap on it. So just poke that underneath there like so, close it, close this side. Go ahead and pull that out and get it out of the way. And then just kind of make sure you're not, you know, you don't have any fabric poking out anywhere to, to get in your way. I had a little bit right there. We'll push that down and Get that out of the way and then just holds it up together like so you pull your uh, loop out pull the rubber ring around the little groove inside it it's got a little groove here to, to retain it and there you go it's all packed up and ready to go not too shabby okay so once again that's the the trio camp chair from the folks at thermal rest again the folks at thermal rest were kind enough to send me this so i can show it to you and Likes and dislikes, you know, I, I really, as long as you understand the purpose for this, that it is not an ultralight backpacking kind of gear. It weighs two pounds, three ounces. Personally, that's not something I want to carry in a backpack on, a, on a, anything longer than about a mile. But uh, that's, that's really the only downside to this thing that I see. And it's not really a downside as long as you recognize that and you, and you use it for what it's intended. In my mind, this is a, a camp chair, camping with the Boy Scouts, car camping sitting around the fire uh, that that really offers an opportunity to pack it up protects it the the when you get this thing sealed up it's like a man it's like an armadillo it just rolls itself up in a little ball and it's, it's, it's protected all the way around it's really comfortable uh, i like the fact that it's, that it's comfortable and a lot of the uh folding chairs that that you get to me they just they're not as comfortable i don't know they hurt my legs they just they're not anyway this thing's really comfortable and it's small and it's also just it's just cool you know so i um i hope this is helpful if you're looking for a, a really nice gift for somebody or for yourself you might want to check out the trio by thermarest as always thanks for watching survival on purpose thanks for subscribing thanks for clicking that thumbs up for sharing it with your friends for watching those ads and for shopping on amazon through the survival on purpose links i really appreciate it once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. See you next time. Carrying loop, whatever. Oh, one. Okay, let's try one more time.